Hey everyone, this is Vic, and this is a quick tutorial to show you how to encrypt a file that then you can send out uh, confidentially, knowing that no one can open it. This is a real quick method to doing it. What I found best is to go ahead and use Microsoft Word. And with Word, you can either input the file you want to send, or if you're going to type the information that you're going to put into the file, or you could even put an image, let's say, of your social security card birth certificate or whatever it happens to be. So let me kind of show you, let's say with an image. So I'm gonna go over to my real birth certificate. And um, this is my real birth certificate. The bottom left-hand corner of your windows, the stop menu, and you click on that and you start typing snipping. And then this here little icon comes up with a scissor and it says snipping tool. You click on that, brings up this little box. When I click new on this box, it grays out your entire screen, but I have the ability to just select the actual part of the screen that I want to go ahead and take a copy of. So I'm going to take just a copy of my birth certificate. Okay, and here it is. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and either I could, uh, I could edit, control C, copy it, or just click on this and copy it that way. So now it's part of my Windows clipboard. Okay, let's get all these things out of the way. And let's go into my Word document. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click, and we're gonna paste image. So now I've got a copy of my birth certificate in the Word doc. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save it as a PDF, encrypt it with the password, um, by just clicking on file and save as use that drop down box click on PDF once you click on PDF you go in to see here some other options that you could do I don't mess with those but we got options here we'll click on options and at the very bottom is encrypt the document with the password we'll click on that I click on OK, and then you've got to be very careful here because it's not going to show you what the password is. So if you did it right, it will let you go ahead and save it. Click OK, give it a name, birth certificate, and I'm going to click Save over here. And now we're done. And let's go directly to uh, where it's saved. Click on birth certificate. And there it goes. So it cannot be opened unless someone's got the password. So let's type in the wrong password. Click OK. Password is incorrect. Type it correctly this time. Click OK. And there it is. So now what you could do is you can go ahead and send this in an email to someone. And in a separate email, which is the best practice method of doing this, you would send the password to this file in a separate email. So hope that helps and um, please like and subscribe and feel free to comment on any suggested videos that you would like to see.